Okay, and welcome back to another episode of Dakota Planet Student Spotlight. Episode 34. Uh, yeah, episode 34, and your name is? Cameron Ash. And what grade are you in? I'm a sophomore. So how's that going so far for you? It's pretty good. You know, at first it was a little bit um, like nerve-wracking, just switching classes and everything, but it's going fine. Uh -huh. Oh, sorry, we're cutting you off. But how do you feel like adapting to like the COVID year? Like, cause I you completely missed your freshman year essentially. Yeah, um, adapting it was kind of weird just because we switched a lot, going from like all online to like half and half, and like not being able to see everybody that you know with like the A and B days. Um, I think I did pretty okay because I didn't really like online, but I think I think in person is going good. Yeah. Do you think you were better in class, or do you think you were better in the computer? Uh, I was definitely better in class because I'm more of like a hands-on person, and like just seeing like an experiment or something on the computer doesn't really help me to learn like what I'm doing. Yeah, like you want to actually feel the experiment. You want to see what's yeah. going on. You want to do it yourself. Yeah, mm -hmm. I get that. Yeah, I think I have sort of the same issue. It's just like hard to retain the the information online because it's not like. Like, let's be real, it's not like you're 100% focused. I mean, it's a yeah. million things going on, and it's not really the, I don't know. It just, well, it's a lot better in person because it kind of focuses your mind strictly onto school. Mm -hmm. Yeah. More so. And plus, just doing the experiment, doing the stuff yourself is better than just tapping some buttons and doing it on a digital screen. So, I mean, yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, are you part of any, like, clubs or anything? Yeah, right now I'm part of Key Club and HOSA, I think, yeah, that's it. What are, uh, yeah, what, are those? what are those? Um. Well, Key Club is basically just NHS, but for like sophomores and freshmen, because mm -hmm. you can't do NHS as a s sophomore. But um, yeah, you just like volunteer and do different events and stuff. And HOSA is kind of like a medical competition where you, um, you have to study a specific event like my event was physical therapy so i had to like study like different movements and like all of that and then compete in a competition does it exclude seniors and juniors or is it just no it's everyone anyone right. can join this is mostly freshmen and sophomores oh no for hosa it's mostly med one and med two students because they've mm -hmm. already like seen like the dummies and what they look like and but I want to do it as a sophomore just to get a feel of it. Yeah. Oh, are you planning on going into med? Yeah, I am. Okay. And doing like the med program next year. Mm -hmm. yeah. What um what like specific med thing I guess are you going for? Um. Well, physical therapy is like my main thing that I'm mm -hmm. focusing, but I also want to be like like a doctor or like a surgeon or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. That's I, good. I like how you have like an actual image planned out for what exactly you're looking for and what you want. Mm -hmm. It's good to have goals you can set before you you just go off. You can't go offline. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then, um, are you involved in any sports with the school or? Yeah, right now I'm doing track. I mean, the season hasn't started, but mm -hmm. you know I'm practicing and stuff. Did you do track last year? Yeah. Okay. Like how was that? Uh, I was pretty bad. <laughs> um, I mean, but I got, um, for JV counties, I won my event. So okay. I guess not that bad. Hey. What event do you do? I do the 200, but my main event is the 400, which is one lap around. That's good, yeah. Yeah. So, real quick, just how have you been feeling about the whole layout of the school? Like, you've been getting around good or stuff like that? I mean, the first week, not even going to lie, I got lost a lot. But, I mean, in the, once you figure out that it's mostly just a square, and if you, like, look at the numbers, you can see, like, if they're going up or down, it yeah. it gets easier. Because, I mean, now I know where all my classes are and stuff. So. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I kind of use, like, me personally, I um, I just remember what way is, like, <laughs> obviously the, the camera can't see my hands but like um the entrance into like the big square i remember what way that is and then i can kind of figure out where all my classes are based yeah. off that mm -hmm. i just remember where my classes are and then i just choose the shortest route <laughs> a little bit of a pathfinder i see exactly. yeah i have to do that for where bicky because i'll close the door on you oh um, like it. do you have any favorite subjects um i guess my favorite subject is spanish because it just comes easiest 
yeah and i don't really like any other subject <laughs> <laughs> yeah i agree with that for me it's french mm. the, the languages are always the best yeah you know? freaking language takers bro <laughs> <laughs> I already finished my language. What y'all doing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways, um, we're kind of over the five minute mark here, so just kind of to wrap it up, we always like to ask, like, what's um, what's a message you would give out to somebody in the audience? Just like a piece of advice that you've kind of gathered throughout your time, like. Um, just to like keep looking forward, cause I mean, like, can't really like, not like you can't like stop, but I mean, like, it's always good to take a break, but it's. It's like just like keep moving forward because I mean you're gonna I don't want to say you're gonna die soon but like <laughs> <laughs> like you're gonna you're gonna be successful if you really just like keep moving forward and like keep trying your best I guess I agree with that yeah, yeah believe in yourself focus yeah. on the future because if you dwell on the past you're gonna miss it yeah. if you, you, know if what you I mean? focus on the future you can actually be ready for what you want to do if you dwell on the past nothing ever gets done yeah yeah nothing really comes out of that. But um, anyways, thank you. This was an amazing interview. Yeah, and, thank you uh, for having me. Yeah, enjoy your lunch. Okay. <laughs>